Millions of petrol barrels are produced every single day. Tens of metals are extracted. Billions of dollars are made. To long rivers, along the country where they have a fortune. This is what 40 million people are. Well, we supposed to. Or do we really own them? Poor education level. Bad hospitals and medical equipment. Unbelievable amount of unemployment. Financial and administrative corruption in the smallest offices. Lack of the more simple and necessary rights. Do we really own them? They might take our money. No matter what dignity. They might take our freedom. No matter what dreams. They might take our lives. But not our voice. That voice that was calm, waiting you to do the rehabilitation. As Yuvara said, dying standing is better than living on your knees. So he cried out, with all what we own, a flag and a voice. But what are we? We are a generation that is educated, decent, honest, clean, mindful, knows that keeping silent while someone is it stealing people properties? It's considered a cooperation with the stealer against the people. We are a generation that wears his uniform, trying to wake the sleeping conscious in the name of science and knowledge. Because he knew that demanding his legitimate rights peacefully is one of the human rights. We are the patriotic soul. That says we all Iraqis. If you fall, we'll need for you. If you pass away, your voice will be louder. And all of these crimes are a very obvious clue for their fear. Don't stop. I won't stop. We won't stop. A revolution for hunger could be shot by food or money, but not a revolution for home. Iraqis together, peacefully together, demanding our home together.